Yes, we are triathletes and yes, we are on mountain bikes, but why? Well, actually, there's a lot that can be gained by going out of our comfort zone onto mountain bikes and getting a bit dirty. Well, it can be a little bit daunting to leave that smooth asphalt and your finely tuned triathlon bike, but it's something that a lot of athletes do every year when they compete in Xterra and cross triathlons. But aside from those races, there's still so much you can gain from riding a mountain bike. To start with, if you live in a country that has harsh winters, unlike this place right now, then mountain biking can be a great way of mixing your training up and preventing you from spending every ride indoors on the turbo trainer. And something feels a little bit better about getting a mountain bike dirty and muddy uh, compared to your road bike. Perhaps it's just because we're a little less precious about our mountain bikes and they are designed for that after all. Uh, and by venturing out onto the trails, you're also honing your bike skills ready for when the weather improves and you can head out on your road bike. Whilst road cycling and mountain biking may seem like very different sports, there's actually a lot of similar skills that transfer from one to the other. In fact, mountain biking is a great way to practice your all-round skills without the fear of falling off on the road, and you don't have to worry about traffic. Another really beneficial aspect of mountain biking is the training effect. Due to the terrain and the effort required to get over or around obstacles, it sort of creates its own natural fartlek. Even just a short ride can be quite punchy and have a huge training benefit, which which can be really useful if you are lacking motivation to do a session on the bike indoors or out on the road. In a similar way, the terrain, obstacles and various surfaces will cause you to constantly change your cadence when you're out on a mountain bike ride. But if you're a road cyclist, you might have got into a bit of a rut of sticking within a small cadence range and that makes it really difficult to change when you need to. With mountain biking, it does go from one extreme to the other. So for example, if you're stuck into a habit of an overgearer, this will really help you solve that problem. The need to move your body weight around in the saddle and on the bike is actually far more important than many of us realise, particularly when we're descending or cornering. But again, we can be quite lazy with this when we're solely riding on the road. We plant ourselves in the saddle and we stay put. But in mountain biking, you have to if you want to stay rubber side down. It helps to build your confidence with shifting your body weight around throughout the whole bike. And in some cases, you'll even have to shift your whole body weight back off the saddle. If you have more confidence in your braking ability, then you can dramatically become a better cyclist. And what better way to do that than mountain biking? Unlike with road cycling, you're going to be constantly using your brakes or lightly feathering them when you're riding off-road. And being able to control that braking power will help massively with your descents and cornering and it might even improve your speed. With all this comes increased confidence and handling for cornering. Now, whilst the surface and tyres may be different, it still allows you to find the limits of cornering, how much grip you have, and even how much you can bank the bike over. And again, mountain biking offers plenty of opportunities to practice this, along with shifting your body weight around to help this. With more mountain biking experience, you'll soon learn that you need to look ahead of where you're going and look for the exit of the corners. It is tempting to look at the obstacles just in front of you, but you'll soon learn not to do that. And this skill actually transfers really nicely across to the road as well, especially if you're riding in groups and you're looking ahead for corners. There really are loads of crossovers and skills that mountain biking can add to our road riding. Personally, I just like the change and variety from the norm. Well, you might be worried about the risk involved with mountain biking, but you don't have to tear it down all the trails. You can just stay within your comfort zone. If you want to catch more videos from GTN, just hit the globe to subscribe. And if you want to know a little bit more about Xterra that we talked about, there's a video on that just here. If you'd like to get hold of some of our nice GTN kit, hit the shop link. And if you'd like to see our Xterra Pro Bike video, just click down here.